Levitating Armchair here. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to install Fallout New Vegas 4GB Enabler as well as NVSE to remedy some of the confusion in the previous videos. So first off, there's the nvse.silverlock.org website and then there's the Nexus Mods website for the 4GB Fallout New Vegas updated mod. Now to get these, click down the manually for this one to get the 4GB Enabler. And to get NVSC, today I'm going to do the beta version. So you can click on this link. I have already downloaded these files. So now what you're going to do is go to File Explorer and Downloads. And here's the two files. Let me scan them in case anybody's afraid of a virus. As you can see, nothing. Now, first off, let's extract these. NVSC, I'm using 7-zip. Extract here, put it there. 4 gigabyte enabler, extract here, put it there. Okay. So now, what you want to you want to do is navigate to your New Vegas directory. Now, whatever drive you installed Steam on, so in my case, the E drive, the hard drive. So, program files x86, Steam. Steam apps, common, and then you want to go to you can scroll down over here, make a grammatical error in my speech, and then click on Fallout New Vegas, and you will be greeted with this. Now, let me just move this over here, and now we have these two files waiting. Opt to NVSC. Okay, so we have this stuff here. You don't care what these, SOC is source, it's a modding tool, the general user will not use that. You want to highlight these files, copy, and then go to your main directory, and then you're just going to paste. So, when I paste, it'll tell me I already have seven of these files. If you haven't installed NVSE yet, you will not encounter this because you do not have NVSE. In my case, I'm updating it because I've done this 10,000 times. Replace. Okay, and now you're going to mom, you want to make a folder called Backup of EXE. So this folder, just create a folder, and you're going to want to copy Fallout New Vegas to EXE application, 16 megabytes. Copy it, paste it in here to back up in case something goes wrong. Now, you're going to run Fallout New Vegas loader, the NVSE loader. You run that, and then you're going to come back here, let's close the game, get back to the file directory, and time for the 4 gigabyte enabler. You go here, and you're going to see all this crap. Now, you don't care about source, that readme, or that text file. You just care about the helper and the executable copy those. Now, what you're going to do is paste them here. Now, I've already done this, and once you paste it, you're going to get these two files in your directory. Now, once you run the game from this, you should, once you exit the game and come back to your file directory, see the, the XEs folder. If it's not there, make it. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a copy of your Fallout New Vegas EXE and you're going to paste it into EXEs. This is the fix for NVSE. For some reason, the NVSE and 4GB enabler have a conflict if you don't do it this way. So what you want to do is make sure there's an EXEs folder like this and put a copy of the New, Ve New Vegas EXE in there. And once you've done that, you're pretty much set. You have Fallout New Vegas 4GB enabler. Now, last step, send to desktop, create shortcut. See here? So now what you're going to do is rename it to whatever on earth you want to name it. In my case, I've already named it Fallout New Vegas Modded. You can name it whatever you like. And from now on, due to how the mods are installed, if you want to run Fallout New Vegas, you're going to have to run it through the 4 gigabyte enabler, hence the desktop shortcut. That is all. Um, if you have any suggestions for future content, 
Let me know and have a nice day.